Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. We've got a Ouya How To, not a review this time because I got an email from Michael Thomason uh, who wrote in on my channel who said he'd be my new best friend if I could help him uh, find the right spot to put those ColecoVision BIOS files to uh, get the MSX emulator to play all those old Coleco games. And I'm going to show him and everyone else right now how to do that. So what you do is you go into your Ouya menu here and they just changed it with their new firmware update. Uh, you go over to make and what I've done already is I've loaded in a file manager. This one's called Astro File Manager. And I'm not going to go through the process of copying the files because it's really cumbersome on this controller. And I think uh, Michael just asked where the files go. So um, what I did is I downloaded the uh, file from Robert Brugley's website, stuck, uh, unzipped it, uh, stuck it on my USB card uh, stick, and then uh, copied the files off of that. Now what you want to do is look for SD card because that, even though that's, there is no SD card in the Ouya, this is where its main memory root store is for all these apps. And what you want to do is look after, you, by the way, you have to install the MSX emulator first. Um, what you want to do is look for the msx.emu folder that you'll see after you install that emulator. And we're going to go in there. And there's another folder in there called machines. And what you're going to do is copy over the call ColecoVision folder that you unzipped from that file you downloaded from his website. Move that entire folder into the machines folder. So you see here we've got call ColecoVision, MSX, MSX2. So there's a couple of others that it comes with, but ColecoVision is the one you have to add. Uh, within that folder, we have ColecoROM and config INI. So those are the, the two files that you need uh, in that spot. So machines, Coleco, uh, call is where that goes. And then if you load up the MSX emulator, what you want to do then is go over to Options, System, and make sure that machine type ColecoVision is selected. You'll see that if, um, if you did everything correctly. It'll have that as an option. And once you do that, we can go back to my childhood favorite, GORF, and restart the game, and you are up and running. So, Michael, I hope this is uh, the answer you were seeking. So stick that call folder uh, in your SD card, msx.emu machines folder, uh, set the option, and you should be good to go. This is Lon Seidman. Hope this was helpful to you and others. Thanks for watching.